YouTube. I just got home from a pool party, so I'm hot and sweaty, and all I could do was reapply my lipstick, which is something lovely that I was sent from Australia. And I did do my hair today, but I'm all soaking wet from sweat right now. All my makeup failed, except for my eyeshadow. Anyway, let's talk about something fun. Let's talk about an empty bag. I totally just flashed y'all my house address. Don't stalk me. But first, before we talk about that one, we'll talk about, like I always do, the goodies I got from last month. First off, the Bare Minerals BB 5-in-1 Cream Shadow Nonsense. I gave that away. It didn't work for me. It didn't work for me as a primer. It creased. It didn't work for me as a shadow base. It creased. I didn't really care for the color they gave me because they gave me the dark option, which would have been better on darker skin tones. But as y'all can see, I am white. I, and I don't just mean that I am a Caucasian. I mean I am white. So it did not work. Uh, the next thing I got, though, I did like, it was the Elizabeth Mott Tints and Sass. Cute. Fabulous Lip and Cheek Stain. When it's turned on there right though and it's got the little dabber it smells like cherries and it's got these little stripes up that are kind of reminiscent of lingerie uh, I actually used this in a video that I will link down below I used it in uh, five products for your face and I used this both as a lip and cheek tint hi Faust my cat jumped up here to eat. And the other makeup-y thing that I got was this Model's Own Nail Polish. Faust, did you just get up here and fart? God, he probably did. He does it all the time. I know this polish has a name, but I couldn't tell it to you. But it's the kind of orangey red glittery one, and I did use it once. I mean, it's a glitter nail polish, and it did have a nice big brush like I like. It was a little hard to get a good consistency of glitter, you know, to make it look like all sparkly like it is in the bottle. But I mean, it's nice. I liked playing with it, so whatever. And the two non makeup y things that I got this month that I actually wound up really liking both. First is the Clear Clinic Vanished Clear Spot Treatment. And as you can see, I have used a good bit of it. That's because I've, after like two months of no breaking out at all, all the stress of this past crappy week has made me break out on my chin, which I totally get. I'm not even too mad about, but this has been helping a lot with it. You know, you just take it out. <coughs> Mo, it's just a cat. Take out the little dabber, spread it on your skin. If you're worried about if you're worried about germs, you know, you can kind of rub it on your finger first and then do it on there rather than putting it directly on your face. That's probably why mine's a little not clear anymore. It's a good product. I think it's expensive though. Another thing that I really liked, but is expensive as all get out, is the Pearly's Essential Daily Moisturizer with SPF 30. And I really like this. I actually liked it enough that I went and looked it up. This little booger is, well, it's not little. The, the actual tube that you buy is much bigger. It's $55. Holy cow. I cannot pay $55 for a moisturizer sunscreen thing. No. My Spoil Me moisturizer is from Origins and is almost $30. And it hurts me dearly to pay that when I can just go buy something from the drugstore. I'm certainly not paying $55. I don't, unless it makes me look 10 years younger. No. I don't even know if I want to look 18, though. So this is my new bag. I came in from a pool party today, like I said, and this was waiting for me on the table, so you get to see an opening and everything. It's sticky to me. Oh, and I got an extra product this time because I cashed in my points. I forgot about that. Because I finally had enough points to actually, you know, get something. Because everything costs like a thousand points. Although they had the Chocolate Soleil bronzer up there for a little bit for 500. But it lasted like five seconds. 
So the theme this month is Beauty Scold. And it has a thing on the back where want to win amazing swag from all our Beauty School brands this month. Enter our Glam Bag Challenge to teach us a thing or two about beauty. Write down your favorite beauty tip on this notebook and post a pic of it tagging Ipsy and Beauty Ipsters on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We will share all your entries on our Ipsypedia on Facebook. And here's the little notebook. I always mean to do these things every month and I always forget. Why are you acting so bad? I've been gone since like 2 o'clock and it's now 8. So that's why he's extra cranky. First off, I like I said, I cashed in my points to get a lip to get the Bare Min Minerals Marvelous Moxie lipstick and light it up. So this was outside my bag, and this is not actually a part of my bag. And it is full size. I've never had a full size one of these before because they have a little. How do I open it? Oh wait, I know what I do. I have to like. Okay, so here's the packaging, like a full size one, and you. I just did it. I pull it down. And it releases. And that is pretty. That, I'm sorry for the lighting, so you can't quite get the full orangey coralness of it. You're getting a little more red than it actually is, but that is pretty. And these lipsticks smell so good. It's like baked good awesomeness. Anyways, this was also outside my bag because it does not fit. And I got the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara Bigger, Blacker, Better. Oh, that is tiny. You gonna let me have it? Here it is. Teeny tiny little mascara. It's urban decay. Every time they send a sample, it's tiny as butt. Get sexed up in one stroke. So intense, you might need a safe word. Perversion mascara glides on and gets you sexy in one stroke. Yet it won't quit until you say when. Like a second skin, our ultra creamy volumizing form formula coats each lash with triple black pigments and a deeply nourishing ingredient blend. The twisted twin <laughs> the twisted trim on our big brush separates and defines as it lays down a generous amount of mascara for bigger, blacker, batter lashes. And it's got this oh so helpful little picture of before and after perversion. I'm not gonna open it on here because I have two mascaras open right now. But when I do try this, I will do a first impressions on it or a review. It probably just depends. Anyways, they squished up my bag. It was all squished up like this. It's definitely one of those little pencil case bags that they like to do for school or the month of school starting for everybody. And it's cute. Definitely one of their cuter bags. Oh. Oh, my products are teeny tiny, so they fit in there just fine. Let's see. I don't think this is what I was supposed to get. I need to look for a second. I need to look at my glam room. I don't think that was what I was supposed to get. It was. I'm just drunk. I'm not actually drunk, but I am buzzed because I went to a party and I drank. It is the, turn that off because it's lighting me up like a Christmas tree. Polish Choice Clear Ultra Light Daily Mattifying Fluid. And protects and mattifies skin, maintains clear skin, prevents on it. It's SPF and moisturizer. These people keep sending me moisturizers. Even Beauty Box 5 sent me another thing of Pearlice, which I don't mind, but now I got a lot of damn little tiny moisturizers. Not that I mind horribly, but here is the Coastal Sense Forever Blush that they put the Coastal Sense in. BH Cosmetics usually put their codes right on the thing so you don't have to look it up. And it is a sample. Teeny tiny sample. Which still happily play with it and it is a matte bronzer and a shimmery blush let's get our swatch on they are relatively pigmented you know for especially for something like coastal sands which is kind of almost a bag filler but i will certainly play with that that is cute 
it's definitely something worth traveling with. Next, we have the Jersey Shore Sun Mongongo Nutrient Defense Anti-Aging Lip Conditioner. Does it have any SPF in it? It's cruelty-free because it's got the little bunny on it. It claims to be organic, but we all know that don't necessarily mean anything. No. Although if it's organic, no, I guess it wouldn't have something like sunscreen in it. Let's open this burger up. Ooh, that smells good. I got lipstick on, so I don't want to put it on. It's very citrusy smelling. And, I, and, and it, it comes out clear. Even though that it's like yellow, it comes out clear, which I just wanted to make sure. Hmm. That'll be nice. I can throw that in my bag and nothing else. And finally, we got the teeny, teeny, tiny Lord and Berry Silk Cajal Coal Liner. Content made in Italy. Dude, this is tiny. You can get a wet and wild eyeliner that's like three times the size for 99 cents. And I know this ain't 99 cents. It's very black and matte black at that. I'm smelling eyeliner because apparently that means something. Let's see. Yeah, it's a cajal, so it's a spudgeable one. That's cool, though. If I want to work the smudgy look, I can play with that. Anyways, that is all for you guys tonight. <laughs> I, should I don't want to say I should go to bed because it's actually quite early, but I should go drink some water and take a shower because I sweated my butt off today. Anyways, I will see you guys later, and that's it. Bye!